Oh, guys, 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 guys. This is the fastest SPC I've ever completed. Paul Pogba just came out around, um, let's see, exactly 11 minutes ago. This is crazy. I thought it would be like, I was like this, oh, oh my god, I pray I can do this SPC. Because I thought it would be like, last year was only like 1.5 most coins or like 9 squads or something. I thought I wouldn't be able to do it. I've already submitted the 88 squad, uh, where I used um, 97 Luis Alberto, who I packed from the ultimate pack. Um, that's the only really high rated, the other ones were like 86s and stuff like that. And then in this one, I'm getting rid of this 94 Rashford because I have to put birthday and the moments Rashford. Actually, let me see if I can actually use the moments Rashford instead because obviously he's um, lower rated. There he is. Oh, wait, no, I always have to take this one out. What am I doing, man? I'm so dumb. All right, all right. But wait, wait, what I'm trying to say is that I can't wait to review this card, man. Oh no! Oh damn! Hey, that gets the rating. All right. There we go. Vince Rashford, goodbye. What a card. 151 goals and 108 assists in 185 games. A loyal member of the club. Uh, anyway, still got a, a crazy amount for the 94 Rashford. Uh, 285s here. Uh, obviously, 96 and 95 over here. And obviously, like 82s and stuff here. Wait, let me see how high I'm on rating. So. Obviously, what we've got an 86 here. Let's see if I can drop that to an 84. Okay, no, too low. What if I can drop... Uh, oh, no, okay, no, we got the rating just right. Alright, so let's submit this and we are going to get ourselves... Actually, wait, wait. Before we submit this, I'm going to open the pack from the first one. In case we do pack something good that we can use instead of um, using up some of those players. Rare Electrum players pack. Now the packs have been absolutely amazing. In my ultimate pack, I got three team season, 97 um, Luis Alberto aboard. Just aboard. For 97 Luis Alberto, 96 Di Maria, 89 Breakovic, and a bunch of 85s. Okay, this is only 83 rated. I wonder if he sells the. Wait, are these tradable ones? Tradable packs. Uh, 83s have been selling for quite a bit, like last week. And stuff, and they probably will be sending for a bit now because obviously Pog was an 84 rated SPC. Alright. Anyway, what an incredible value SPC. Now, our Toro Vidal was 286s, so this is superb value. Just saying. I'm praying. Pull Pogba. Oh my god, let's go. That dynamic image is so sick as well. I cannot wait to try this card. The Frenchman, Pull Pogba. ACA pace 95 dribbling, 93 shooting, 95 passing, 81 defending, 93 physical. What a card! Uh, oh, my Adams already out of the team. Oh, what a card, man! I cannot wait. Five star, four star. Didn't get the five star. Okay, board team of the season, please. Inform walkout. Come on, Belgium, Kevin De Bruyne, Italy. It probably has high rated cards. No, um, is this like 83 rated? No, 84. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, walkout has to be 84, but yeah. What a card! I cannot wait! Ooh, it's tradable, it's tradable, it's tradable. Okay, transfer list, transfer list. Oh yeah, I also got a few 84 rated cards on the transfer list. They might sell now because of Pogba. But anyway, yeah, I cannot wait to try out this Pogba card. I'm going to show you the team we are putting him in right now. Alright, so this is the team we're going to be using for the Paul Pogba review. So he's going to be playing here. Well, not in game, but this is a team, so it's going to be the backline, Smalling, Team of the Season, Primary of Fernand. So I forgot the name of the promo here. Yeah, Summer Heat, Popes, and the goal. Summer Heat, and Barbara, and Mendy, fullbacks. James and Vinicius are wide. We've got in the 4 for 2 is going to be Phillips and Pogba as the CMs. 
Bruno Fernandes and Foot Birthday, Rashford as the strikers. Custom tactics. I'm gonna mainly play in the 4-4-2. Custom tactics, I'm mainly playing in the 4-4-2. I've got Bruno Fernandes and Rashford up front. Phillips and Pogba, CMs, James and Vinicius out wide. Mendy, Rio Fernand, Smalling and Mbappé. And as for instructions on Pogba. So when I was using um, Wijnaldum or any other CM I've used this year in the, in the 4 4 2, I've always had both of them on stay right while attacking. But with Pogba, I thought I went for stay right while attacking, you're restricting his attacking capabilities too much. Like he's always staying so far back. So I'm going to give him a balanced uh, attack with stick to position, cover center, balanced crossing runs, normal interceptions. And I think the best, uh, I see a lot of people use an engine. And I think if you got someone like, incredibly good defensively, maybe someone like a Vieira or. Um, or if you're very comfortable defensively with Phillips, I, I really like Phillips defensively, but I still don't want to. I still do want to uh, boost um, the defending a bit on this card. And in that case, I would um, put an engine on him. And if you're someone who likes really fast CMs, like 90 plus pace, uh, Shadow could be one of the best chem stars for this card, as um, as it would put his acceleration. Um, above 90 so right now he's got 90 at sprint speed the sprint speed is way is definitely good enough as acceleration with the anchor it's an 84 acceleration stat but it is still kind of low for me it's been okay but a lot of people could find it low so maybe a shadow would be good for him in future i might put a shadow one in but for now i just got an anchor uh, shooting stats in game they're, they're absolutely brilliant the attack positioning is superb shot power is amazing long shots 94 not even a lie i've scored three really nice long shots with him a couple free kicks because of his 93 kick accuracy um, like two straight up power shots, a um, long range finesse shot, 96 volleys, he has scored quite a few volleys on his 4 star weak foot and the 5 star and, and the strong foot. Uh, I haven't taken any penalties with him apart from, actually no, I took one penalty with him and I missed it. And that's not because of the, uh, obviously the penalty is 95, it's good, I think I just don't like the way, you know, obviously, you know, some people have their kind of like custom run up to a penalty like Neymar and stuff. Did you hear the sirens? Yeah, alright. Um... Yeah, so I just don't like Pogba's custom run-up. I just had the normal one. This guy's always got that really slow kind of jog to the spot kind of thing. I don't really like that. And his finishing is completely fine because he finishes most chances on his strong foot and he um, does score most of them on his four-star weak foot but to sometimes miss. So his shooting is absolutely brilliant in-game. His passing is on point. The best passer I've used this game better in this game. Better than some of right now, them Tots Phillips, Tots Henderson. Um... I haven't used Tots Awar enough, I, I just recently got him from um, the League One Guaranteed Pack, so I can't really compare him, can't really compare them to. And then um, Nine Golden as well, I've used Nine Golden a lot, his passing is brilliant, but I think Pogba, Pogba's passing is, a fa is my favourite. And his dribbling, it's pretty solid, like, sometimes it can feel kind of slow in sluggish gameplay. Uh, and even in good gameplay, you can feel a little bit slower than like a Kante time midfielder. But... Um, his strength and ball control kind of makes up for it because with his strength, even when he messes up a dribble, he's still able to hold on to the ball, and sometimes even win a um, win a foul easily. I've won a few free I've won a few free kicks on the edge of the box when he's taken a heavy touch. Uh, his balance and agility not too much of a problem to be honest, but his ball control is so good. He keeps his he keeps the ball so close to his feet that you can't. That's that's what that's right. Um, he doesn't lose the ball that easily. 99 ball control. The ball stays so close to his feet when he dribbles. 97 dribbling, 97 composure, 91 reactions. It's an absolutely brilliant card. In terms of defending, he's got 82 stand tackle, 77 slide tackle, 77 defensive awareness, uh, 92 heading accuracy, which is brilliant, 78 interception. So the, the reason I wouldn't put an engine on him personally is because I feel like his defensive awareness and interceptions are too low. I like to have them like above 85. And obviously, um, stand tackling is decent, but still kind of low for me personally. Uh, slide tackle, you don't really use it that much, so I don't mind. So I think uh, with a shadow, it would be 87 standing tackle, um, like plus a 90 plus less light tackling. You know what? Right now with an anchor, 92 stand tackle is put, um, really good. 87 defensive awareness is solid. 83 interceptions. It's good enough because he's six foot three, so he like his size and his long legs help him intercept the ball. Uh, 92 heading accuracy. Yeah, he does um, get on a lot of headers. He hasn't scored any, but he has come really close to scoring multiple headers for me. And um, as for physical stats, absolutely brilliant. 96 strength holds onto the ball easily. 84 aggression when he goes to the attack. When he goes into the tackle, he usually gets the ball. 94 stamina lost uh, nearly the whole game. For me personally, he sometimes um, does lose stamina quickly because I use him so much to build attacks that I control him manually a lot in the game. Unlike with my other CNs, where I usually just let them make the runs and stuff. And his jumping is very good, obviously. Plus with his, with how good he is. Um, 
in the air. He's obviously 6 foot 3. He's just so good at running the headers. So our first opponent in this review, he has got a very nice team. He's got Team of the Season Varane, Rose of the Final, Militao, Headliner Walker, Team of the Season Tagle Fico, an incredible backline. Wijnaldum and Middle Hullet in the midfield, incredible. That Firmino and Rashford, both 5 star, 5 star up front, and then he's got Promes and uh, Mahrez, both with 5 star skills. Looks like he's a bit of a skiller judging from his um, front line. Let's start off with Pogba's dribbling, where is it? Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Skill moves came off quickly there. Yeah, not as fast as like Kante, probably not as fast as Wijnaldum, but I feel like his fast off skills kind of makes up for it and he is kind of quick at times. Yeah, really nice there from Pogba. And he's making the run forward now. Here's James. And that is a foul. Is it a, an option to shoot? Yep, we are going to shoot with Paul Pogba. Let's go. I'm going to go up above. Oh, so close. Let's see if we can actually. Oh, wait. Oh, that dribbling is absolutely brilliant from Pogba. Oh, he's away from Hullet. Oh, damn it. Pogba! And it is 1 0. The dribbling on the edge of the box is absolutely brilliant. And then Paul Pogba, look, you, you can see here, he makes the run into the box and it's a brilliant finish from the four star weak foot. Uh, a really nice goal. You could say it's kind of lucky, but I think. Um, Pogba deserved the goal in the first place after that insane dribbling and he got past Hullet. There's Phillips into Pogba. Nice little pass into Bruno. Rashford, brilliant ball over the top to Bruno. Pogba's made the run forward. Can I get it back? Oh, brilliant ball from Pogba and Bruno scores! Pogba with the assist. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Bruno's pace coming in clutch after the ball from Rashford. Cuts it back to Pogba on the edge of the box, he made an attacking run and then really nice back heel pass there into Bruno who finishes to make it 2-0. Oh, Getting well connected by Pogba there. That's still pass out to James. Oh yeah, absolute pace there on Daniel James. And I'm going to also try and get a review done on this card. Pogba did run into the box, but Vinicius was in a better position and he's missed it. Phillips into Pogba. One nice pass into James, now Rashford. James. Pogba making the run into the box. Here's Pogba, scoop turn. Phillips. Vinicius into Pogba. Back to Vinicius, brilliant return. Oh, good tackle there with Varane. Beautiful. Won the penalty perfectly and will he score it? Or will Pope come in clutch? Wow! He put that perfectly in the top left corner. Dived the right way and he still got it in. Mbabu. Phillips. James. Oh no, Rashford's got it. Bruno, what a pass. Rashford, 3-1. Pogba stayed back on this one. I don't actually mind that. Since we had so many players forward, I feel like it was actually a good thing Pogba stayed back because we didn't actually need another man in this hack. Pogba, brilliant tackle. Good touch from Pogba. Nice, just hold the ball, continues the run. And he, oh, brilliant pass to Bruno. Bruno, you've got to finish that. 4-1, brilliant pass from Pogba. Pogba with a goal and two assists, and is he going to rage quit? Yes, he does. And the first performance, Pogba with a 9.4 rating, second best player on the... Oh, hang on a second, who got man of the match? Oh, I didn't say. Okay, so Bruno got man of the match with a 9.6 rating. He got two goals and an assist. Pogba, the second best player on the pitch with a 9.4, one goal and two assists. Three out of three shots on target. 13 out of 16 passes completed. 13 out of 15 dribbles completed. He had a... A really good game. Two out of three tackles won as well. What a game for Paul Pogba. For the second game, we are up against a solid Serie A team. 
So he's got Chesney in goal. Nesta. Middle Nesta or is that baby Nesta? I don't know. Uh, a version of Nesta and Ramos at the back. 93 Ramos. Alba and Danilo fullbacks. Roy Keane and Langolan as his midfielders. Jordan Lukaku looks like a very good card. He also had Ibrahimovic. Team of the season Ilicic. And... Foot birthday Lozano. It's a pretty solid Serie A team. Into Pogba. That's unacceptable. That is awful from Pogba. That happened in the Paris review as well. Literally, they, they like when I'm using them myself, they're doing so good. As soon as I start recording the review, they start messing up really bad. That's a brilliant pass from Pogba though. And there's James making the run. Pogba, redeem yourself. Pogba! This time he does score 1-0. And is he about to quit? Yes, he is! 1-0! Two rage quits. Paul Pogba, man. One goal and he should have scored the first one as well. That was disappointing. Making the beautiful runs. And in the next game, we are up against... Man, that's a really nice team. Team of the uh, team season, Mukiela and... Summer Heat, long lay, very fast and solid centre backs, Rusalin and Lala as full backs. That's an insane defence. Pogba, De Jong, and Modric in the midfield. Vinicius, Diaby, and Shevchuk de Benyana. What a team. I wonder what he's going to do in the midfield though. Is he going to play Pogba as a cam or maybe Modric? Well, Pogba scored again. Brilliant jag back from Pogba and a brilliant Nepo shot. And it is another rage quit. These guys are rage quitting so quickly today, but yeah, sorry, I wasn't commentating over the goal. I said to move my mic for a second. But yeah, and we are back in Div 6. I was on a. Um, lost a few games and I was desperately focusing on objectives. I lost so many games trying to score goals with specific players. But we are back up in Division 6 and the aim is to go back to Div 5. And we are facing a Bundesliga side and oh it's a bit of a hybrid. So it's got TC the Mandander in goal, Prime Kill and an insane front three. Well apart from maybe Koeman because he's always got three star weak foot, but he's got Werner and Sancho team of the season. And Koeman out wide could be a beast because of his weak foot. Three oh no, not because of his weak foot, what am I saying? It's a three star weak foot because of his pace. There's Pogba. Brilliant ball out wide to Vinicius. The inside fake shot, oh, we didn't have much, enough of a gap between him and Hakimi. Pogba is continuing to make the runs forward. Okay, Burning pass to Bruno. Vinicius! 1-0 Pogba into Bruno into Vinicius and we are one up and we are leading the game again Could this be the fourth bin in a row? But the thing is every time I play four games in a review I always seem to mess up the last game I always seem to lose the last game of the review, but that won't happen this time As we take a 1-0 lead and Vinicius Oh, Vinicius again. Back to Phillips. Into Bruno. Pogba making that run forward. Oh, Brilliant from Pogba attacking his face. And it's in and that is 2-0. Two goals in quick succession. Pogba involved in the first one. Pogba scores the second one. And this card is absolutely incredible. Before this review, he had 20 goals in 40 games. Which is absolutely amazing from CM. Brilliant interception from Pogba. Bruno! What a save. Damn it, that missed off so bad! How did none of them- Oh my god, I was tuning it up. How did none of them get the ball? Look at that, there's no- That's so lucky, man. This is an absolute joke, man.
I did a bro and he did the what what's it called? The body fan. Why was he doing body? Oh my god! How has he won this game? It makes no it makes absolutely no sense. Then the I don't believe I lost that game, man. Absolutely dominant. No, it's not going to show anything. Why did, at the end, right there, why did Perisic do a body feint instead of the ball roll? But anyway, that's for Paul Pogba. What a card. Defensively solid. Now, the one thing I think I'm going to put on this card, I think, as good as he performed with the anchor, I think I am going to put a shadow on him. Simply because, near the end of the game, I feel like um, if he has around 50% um, stamina or a little over that, I feel like he becomes too slow because obviously his base acceleration is 84. He's going to feel a lot slower than that near the end of the game because of his fit, uh, when his um, fitness drops. But with the shadow, it's obviously still going to have incredible pace, so he'll still be pretty fast at the end of the game. I feel like that could be a huge difference because I think near the end of the game when he could have made a lot of easy tackles, he couldn't because he was too slow. So I think with the shadow chemistry style, this card will be absolutely brilliant. Tackling wise, absolutely brilliant. Dribbling was very solid. Passing was um, pinpoint. Shooting was absolutely on point of it. Before he had uh, 20 goals in 40 games, now he's got 24 goals in 44 games. So he scored a goal in every single one of those games. Unless he scored two in one of them, which I don't think he did. I think he scored one in each of them. So Bull Pogba as an attacking CM next to somebody really solid like Phillips, Vieira maybe, Fabinho. Next to cards like that, this card's absolutely unreal. And if you can get this Phillips on your team, next to Pogba, that'd be unreal. I mean, this Phillips is under 100k right now. You should definitely go get him if you can. But well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.